So today we're gonna finally be working on my favorite shot, the back end, and we're gonna specifically be working on taking it early, which is one of my favorite things, because as soon as you are able to master it, you will see how it's gonna be really hard for the other one to target your back end, because you're gonna be able to take that ball early, take advantage of it, and I'm gonna tell you how to be aggressive and take advantage from your back end, even if it's not your strongest weapon, okay? Now, before we get into the video, make sure you go to our Instagram, it's at Time Valley of Tennis. I'm gonna put the link on the first comment below. Okay, make sure you go there, follow us because we're gonna be posting a lot of very cool stuff in there, okay? So go follow us on Instagram, we'll see you there. We're gonna show you a lot of behind the scenes and stuff, okay? So now, let's get back into the video. Very important things to do when you are hitting a 200 back and, specific, and specifically you're trying to take it early. First of all, you gotta have a compact back swing, okay? If you start having a huge back swing, start moving too much the racket and stuff, it's gonna be almost impossible to time the ball properly, the racket is gonna move too much, and you are not gonna be able to have a clean hit. And if you don't do it properly, it's gonna be so hard to hit the ball on the rise because the ball is coming very quick. If you don't have, have perfect timing, it's tough to control those balls, okay? Another very important thing is hitting the ball in front of your body. As soon as you hit the ball late, you will see that you will have zero control on that ball, okay? So if I'm here and I hit the ball right here next to my body, I'm gonna need to put so much effort with my left arm, it's gonna be extremely hard, okay? On the other hand, as soon as I get my point of contact here in front of my body, it's extremely easy because I'm using the other one's power. I on, and I only need to guide it with my left arm to keep the ball going where I want to, okay? Another thing is, and in my opinion, probably the most important thing is the momentum, okay? creating the momentum going forward into that ball. So what you're gonna wanna do is, on the back end, you're gonna always hit in open, in close stance, sorry. You are never gonna wanna hit really that ball on the rise in open stance, that would be pretty weird, unless you are absolutely out of balance, okay? So you will be moving forward in close stance, and be, uh, when you are hitting, you gotta make sure that you are transferring the weight of your body into the ball, and you will see how this leg is gonna actually here move forward. Okay, after you hit. So you're gonna try to keep your body sideways, hit with the momentum going forward, and then keep moving with the other leg forward, okay? Extremely important because if you, know, if you don't generate that momentum, it's very hard to get the right timing and the ball is gonna push you backwards, okay? Now, how do you move towards that ball, okay? As soon as you see that ball, how do you move? You're gonna be moving with what I call double steps, okay? So instead of just like running to the ball, getting set up and hitting, most of the times what you're gonna do is, you're gonna see a ball coming towards you. It's a little bit higher ball, so you're gonna have some time. You're gonna get set up, you're gonna turn on the last moment, you're gonna do a double step here to create that momentum going forward. You can see how I'm transferring all the weight of my body from my left leg to the right one. So it's when I'm transferring all the momentum into that ball and I'm gonna generate way more pace. And then after that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually swing through the ball, okay? Now, how is the swing on the 200 back end when you're trying to take the ball early? It's gonna be a pretty low and flat swing, okay? You don't wanna come up because the ball could fly. You don't wanna come down either because you will miss the ball to the net. You're gonna try to work on going through the ball and make sure you close the face of the racket also. Very important because if you don't close the face of the racket, you will see that with the pace that the ball is coming and the spin, the racket is gonna open up, the ball is gonna fly. Okay, so those are the most important things. Now, what I wanna show you is I wanted to show you a couple of drills and I'm gonna show you exactly how I hit those backhands, okay? So for the first drill, what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have Sergey on the other side. He's gonna start feeding me high balls with no top spin at the beginning. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to take them early and I'm gonna try to hit my favorite shot, okay? So when I take advantage of this back and taking it early, what I try to do is I try to open up the core going short cross court on that back end, okay? Because that's when I move early, I get some kind of an angle and I put the other one out of balance, okay? If you don't feel comfortable at the beginning with that one, just focus on going deep cross court, okay? I would not suggest you to go down the line right now. Try to move in, take that ball early and try to change some kind of angle on that direction, okay? So let's see how it goes. Perfect, one more. Okay, very good. So you can see how I'm generating the momentum forward, hitting, moving the left leg forward, and I'm starting to find that angle. So now what I'm gonna ask Sergey is I'm gonna ask him to go 
the, hitting the same ball, but now with a little more topspin. So it's going to be a little more challenging because when the ball bounces, it's going to go faster. So let's see if I can time it properly now. Oh, short. One more. Very good. So if you can see, I'm doing a lot of small steps and adjusting to every ball because if you don't adjust very precisely on those balls, it's so hard to hit it properly. Okay, so try to put it on practice, try to use all those things, take the ball early, moving forward, going through the ball and creating that momentum forward. Let me know how it goes. Don't forget, follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next video.